welcome back to my channel and welcome again to the ever so wonderful fashion corner. I will apologize right now that my lighting is pretty much absolutely awful. I do apologize for that. I have not perfected the lighting situation from like this because where I film traditionally is right over there and I got that lighting down. I got it good. But the lighting over here tends to be like really intense on one side, whether I use my box lights or my umbrella lights or my uh, ring light, it just, it just doesn't want to do the thing. But it is so much easier to film fashion clothing videos over here because I've got my handy dandy rack right here. So we're just gonna deal with it this time around. And today, this time around, we are doing a 110 completely percent kill star. Oh, you know that I have been kind of vibing on that more feminine Victorian Lolita-ness kind of as we're vibing with today. Although this dress is not from Killstar, this is actually from Boohoo. I saw Jade the Libra buy it and I was like, I never do this, but I clicked that link and I bought that shiz so fast. I will leave it linked down below if I can. But we are going to be doing the kill star. Now, um, I was gonna just be doing a doll's kill haul, but I got I accumulated enough kill star pieces to just do a kill star video on its own. And I know a couple of y'all are about purchasing from Dolls Kill, so I will leave some of these things I got. They are from Dolls Kill, but if I can find the link and find them on the Kill Star site proper, I will leave that link down below along with sizes. Y'all know how this kind of video rolls. So let's just go on into showing you the pieces. As always, there's going to be like that fancy, fancy little try on portion going on, so let's just go on in. And we will start with the most obvious piece. You all know I love the Killstar kind of gothic humor bags. And this is shaped to look like a detergent bottle. And y'all know if I like something, it's uh, things looking like other things. And it just says abyss right here, extra dark care. I mean, caution may systematically change attitudes or altering beliefs. I mean, it's, it's Cthulhu detergent. I just thought this was really stinking cute. I'm pretty sure I got this one off Killstar because it was um, sold out on Dolls Kill, wherever it is available. I will leave it linked below. Hello, you've got the strap going on. The only thing I don't like is the fact that you can't take the strap off. And the only reason I have issues with that is because I like being able to display these bags and sometimes dealing with the strap is a little bit of a uh. It's got this little cap bit here. It's got the zippers, obviously. It doesn't zip down too far and it is a very stiff material so you're kind of kind of digging in on in there. But I do absolutely love their comedic bags and this one I just thought was freaking hysterical. Okay, I'm gonna start off with two pieces that are absolutely identical. They've just got different writing on them. They are these dresses right here. You guys will have seen me wear this one and probably this one too. Now this one I got in uh, XXL because y'all may or may not know I gained a little bit of weight when I came back from Tennessee and then ever since then I've been a little paranoid about my sizing but this fits really good. I could have gotten away with an extra large which is what I got the other one in. But it's just this very simple ribbed knit kind of like a skater dress kind of A-line where it comes in a little bit at the waist and then flares out. It's got really long sleeves. It's got the mock neck right here, which I'm living for the high neck moment. And then this one here is the exact same thing, except it says it's your funeral, mortuary, burials, and rites. Well now, six feet under. I just think these are really great for filming, really great for like simple outfits. You just want to throw it on, a pair of boots and a hat, and you're good to go. Nothing too fancy fancy. And speaking of fancy fancy, this is the Delora dress. I did get this one in extra large. I have learned um, that when it comes to Killstar's um, dresses that stretch, that have this like very stretchy velvet, I am a true XL. But this is just this beautiful, fancy, frilly, oh my goodness. I had credit, I got this one off of Doll's Kill and I was like, do I want it, honey? And we were looking at it and then I was like, it has a butt 
bustle. That just sold it for me because you all know I love frills and lace and anything just like, just frilly. And it does has the beautiful, does has. It does have the beautiful corseting here. It is just absolutely stunning. All things voluminous and gothic Lolita. I usually like to wear this with something high necked underneath it just because I like that look a little bit more on me than this scooping neckline here. Although you've got plenty of room for like statement necklaces and things like that. Then this next dress is is extremely simple. It is just a plain black t-shirt maxi dress. Uh, this would have been one of the things, <laughs> one of the, I got this to maybe potentially wear to my brother's wedding. There will be a outfit video where I style all of the dresses that I potentially bought to wear to my brother's wedding, which has long since passed and I wore None of the ones that I intended. I wore something completely different, but it ended up looking really good. All y'all would have seen on Snapchat. I was vibing in my, in my Highlander awesomeness. But this is just like a plain, simple whateverness. I mean, <laughs> this is gonna be great for the summertime and the warmer months because it's very light, a very thin, but not see-through material. Or in the winter time, obviously you can layer it up and everything. I had a dress like this that I wore all the time from Michael Kors. That one has since bit the dust. So this one is kind of the replacement. This is in an XXL. The extra large was just way too tight around that tum-tum hip area. This next one you would have also seen me wear already at this point. This is this beautiful, I think this is the Fang shift dress. I will try to leave names of things down below when I link them because they always name them some kind of fancy fancy. You don't just put out, you know, like a collared dress with moon cut out. They don't, they don't roll like that. But it is just this beautiful velvet baby doll thing going on. It's got this like pleather uh, collar and then it's got the lace around that and then you've got the see-through mesh moon it is just so beautiful so simple but still very statement making you know you could really just go to town on this it is so beautiful very flattering and very comfortable that's what I love about the Killstar velvet stuff is they're just so comfortable like a lot of them are super ornate and everything like that but they're comfortable so you don't feel like you're wearing something super sophisticated and whatever. And another dress which you have seen me wear at this point. This one I kind of regret um, the size I got in this because I was kind of paranoid and I wasn't too versed in the Killstar Velvet at that point. So I got this one in an XXL because I thought it was going to be like a stiff, very form-fitting um, velvet, which is really great and everything like that. But I got this one in an XXL and it's just the tiniest bit too big and considering the fact that I'm running again I'm going to be losing inches and weight and it's going to be we'll see I'm trying to learn how to sew so maybe my mom and I can take it in after I've lost the weight and inch inches that I want to but it's just this beautiful flared out party dress it's got this brooch thing going on here you can take that off and put you know I guess another brooch or just wear it as is it's got these little ruffles on the sleeves, all the kind of details that I would absolutely want in a dress. In a dress that really confused me in the sizing department, I got this one off of Killstar. This is the New Moon Baby Doll dress, and so I got it in an extra large. Can you not? I got it in an extra large because that's the size that I feel like I'd been running, and it's huge. <laughs> like, it is huge and I got this one off Killstar so I'm not familiar with their returns and I decided I'll just deal with it I'll just you know make it work it comes with a slip dress underneath which is really nice quality but I'm just not sure about how wide this is in this obviously we'll see how it looks in the try on portion video segment that's probably playing right now it's got really pretty flutter sleeves it's very long it's got a little bit of a ruffle here you know, just something that I thought once again would be good and fitting my aesthetic in the summertime because wearing velvet in the summertime isn't the best idea. This next dress is one that I had wanted to have for I feel like as long as I've been buying from Killstar, which is been a couple years now and I kind of I started off with their t-shirts and their jumpers I'll try to leave some of my other reviews down below kind of having a throwback moment there but this was one that I wanted but it was I think it was in the $80 range because some of their 
dresses typically you pay about fifty dollars that's kind of like a flat range and then they can maybe go a little bit under or a little bit or over depending on the intricacy but i feel like for the most part it's like 54 or 60. but this is the oh my goodness the mitsuyu yo lolita dress i'm not even sure but it is this beautiful beautiful lolita dolly dress it's got the sleeves here and i I went out on a limb because it was on sale. I think it was on sale for like $40. And I was like, I really want that. And I got a large because they didn't have an extra large and it fits. It fits like just a little bit tighter than I would like. But like I said, losing weight, inchage, whatever, it'll then fit perfectly. But it's just this beautiful, absolute perfection of a dress. It's got the thing with the lace on it. I mean, it's just so beautiful. This is everything that 19 year old Soraya aspired to be. And so I am beyond happy to just, it's just, it's just so pretty. It's got the lace and the going on here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so glad I went on in on the large rather than just being like, well, they don't have my size. I'll just have to deal. The next dress is also something that I had wanted for a long time. I think I saw Toxic Tears. I've been kind of binge watching a bunch of people's um, Killstar hauls. There's Mama Goth. There's Oh, I will leave links down below to these channels. Obviously, I've been watching Toxic Tears. It's Black Friday, and I was like, oh, I want that dress. And this is the Cathedral Skater dress. I got mine in an extra large, and it's like... The material is not what I expected. Um, my favorite material that Killstar uses is from their cathedral, their cross cathedral dress that, isn't this the cathedral just, what did I just say? Yeah, this is, this is the cathedral dress. It's it, the cross out dress. Um, I will leave a picture, but that material is my, mm, it is so beautiful. So just like lush and nice and quality. And this feels like good quality, but it's like, um, Neo? Green, kind of like it feels like stiff bathing suit material almost it's got a lot of stretch to it and it's got this big pointed collar I absolutely love for any of you who don't know my favorite comic and one of my favorite artists is Roman Dirge and he does the um Lenore the little dead girl I absolutely love those comics they're just like my perfect dark humor I would love to cosplay her and this just kind of made me feel all kind of Lenore aesthetic it comes in at the waist here and then it does go out like to a nice type of skirt has the zip all the way whatever I just thought once again this is kind of a nice a little bit more extra y'all know I would probably I probably have like six <laughs> collared dresses like these because I love them this dress here is also made out of the material that I absolutely love it's just this it's so hard to describe it's like some of the softest nicest cotton it has a little bit of stretch but it feels and it looks just so nice on the body i wish killstar would make all of their dresses out of this material because it's just so nice and i was really glad when this dress arrived this is a newer i'm not sure how new it'll be by the time i get this up but this is the blessed bee shift dress in an xl um it's one of their newer releases at the time of filming I'm not sure what it's gonna be next and I thought it was like I just looked at the pictures and so I thought it was gonna be just like a different like a rougher cotton whereas this is like like I say this it, this feels like if crepe de chine could be a cotton but it's got the beautiful this is like you know a fancy dress what fancy dress Wednesday Adams you know if you've got somewhere nice to go it's got the buttons the really beautiful lace detail on the cuffs it comes out at a very flattering length I recommend a lot of these style dresses from Killstar because I find that they're just so flattering on a myriad of body types and so it's just so pretty and so like dolly like I said I've been I've been riding on that feminine Victorian gothic Lolita dolly look and this just kind of plays right into that then also from that collection this is I believe the the cauldron dress yes cauldron dress got mine in an XL and it's also made out of that really nice heavy crepe de chine cotton and it is just this beautiful once again the very flattering shape this material just drapes so well it's just so beautiful and luxurious the dresses that are made out of this material 
I would just be like, yes, they're worth the money. The quality for some reason in these ones are just so well done. And I am gonna be doing, after this video goes up and gets uploaded on my channel, I will be doing a video talking about what to invest in versus what not to invest in when it comes to Killstar. Um, I asked on my community tab and a bunch of y'all were like, yes, do that. So I will be doing a very in-depth review on Killstar with the pieces that I've experienced and what I'm like, yes, do go spend the $50 and things that I'm like, eh, a little bit overpriced for what you get but this has once again that beautiful high neck it's got lacing around there and then you have this see-through mesh panel um i usually wear a sports bra <laughs> i find that that works okay but it does kind of cut deep on the sides here so depending on what you like to wear kind of take that into consideration got these beautiful i love anything with these big wrist cuffs and buttons like that it's got the lace there and then it also has the lace on the bottom. It's just so beautiful and so comfortable. I love this fabric. I will be buried in this fabric. Second to last dress here, and I think second to last uh, item. This is the Mortina. Yes, the Mortina dress. Now this is kind of funny. This is, I had credit on Dolls Kill. I got this one off of Dolls Kill. And the first picture they use is just like the, the, the model crouching down. So you can't really see the detailing on the front. And I was like, yeah, sure. I need another collared velvet dress from Killstar. And I, like an idiot, I didn't like go through and look at all the pictures and like the description. And then it arrived and I was like, oh, look. That's really cool. That's really nice. I didn't notice that because I'm a moron. And so this is just so beautiful. I have a handbag that is gonna match so nicely with this dress. I'm just, I'm so feeling the feminine vibe. And it's been a while since I've felt like really feminine. I've kind of skewed more on that androgynous edge where now I'm like embracing ruffles and lace. And, and even though in some eras, ruffle and lace and everything like that and brocade was, was a man's thing too, which I feel like if we could go back to that, mm. Mm, life would be perfect, but I've just been really vibing with these and I love how the Killstar dresses, like I said, they can be statement pieces, but without being cumbersome or uncomfortable, they make a really good statement while still being a simple streamlined piece. Then last, but most definitely, certainly not least, this is one I got off of Dolls Kill because it was heavily discounted. This dress normally retails for $90. And I remember looking at it and being like, what What merits this one being so expensive? Because it's only $100 for a dress. We'll just round up with tax and everything. And I got it on Dolls Kill because it was discounted to, I wanna say like $45. And so I'm like, $45 slash 50, you know, that's, that's what I would pay for a full price Killstar dress. So I was like, all right. This is good, we got the credit, let's do it. This is the She's in Parties dress, and it is just everything lace and frilly and Lolita and beautiful. It's got the little lacy cap sleeves, it's got the faux high neck going on here. I typically, I'm probably gonna be wearing something underneath it once again because I don't, I like to be when I'm going for like my Victorian looks, I like to be like more modest. Oh, look at the skirt. It is frilly. It is poofy. It is lacy. It is absolutely amazing. And like after I pulled it out, after I felt how heavy it was and pulled it out of the bag, I was like, oh, okay. Now I understand why this is so expensive because there's just so much fabric in this thing and it feels absolutely gorgeous like this is definitely a step above it is very much like a formal like if you've got like a wedding to go to or some kind of like you know dinner this is really a step above and is very much a formal occasion dress so if i could like go in store and like see this and wear it and try it on i'd be like okay yeah ninety dollars i can understand i can see although i'm very happy i got it for 45 but it is just absolutely beautiful super flattering honestly going to be one of my favorite dresses Ever. Okay, so that is the all of my Killstar haul. I just, 
I have been really loving and vibing with their brand. I've just been, like I said, feeling very princessy, very Victorian. Just I've just been really, really into that feminine, ruffly, really cute silhouette. Which, like I said, is really nice for me because I don't always feel very feminine. I don't always feel very like, you know, pretty. Sometimes that's why I skew for the androgynous because you can get away with not being, you know, super feminine and pretty and stereotypically beautiful. So I am just loving everything that I got. Obviously, I'd love to hear y'all's opinions on the things that I got. What was something that you liked the best? What's something that you would buy? And if there's anything from Killstar that you would recommend to me, obviously stay tuned for that in depth what to invest what not to invest in what to wait for a sale on or what that's totally worth it to get full price i'm super excited to do that video and i plan on doing it on other alternative brands as well but thank you guys so much for watching i love you and as always keep it real Mwah!